Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about knots. As I promised last time, I showed you the different components of the main fishing line, which I'm using to catch carps. And today is the time to show you how I connect the different components of the line. Actually, I'm expecting this to be a short vlog because I'm going to show you three knots. Three knots which are to my opinion, the most simple and reliable. It's very easy to make, but very reliable. Stay tuned by the end of this video. If you are new in this channel, my name is Petko and my passion is catching cups in big public lakes. So obviously, since you are here, this is probably your passion too. Uh, for the rest of the audience, I need to apologize for making third vlog here at home. But the reason is because I'm dealing with the um, COVID virus right now and uh, fortunately I'm fine already. But as you understand, I cannot make uh, videos uh, outdoor. But I hope this will be my last video making at home and next time I will be on the bank I will be happy I will try to catch winter carp and I'm going to show you how I select lakes where I going in the winter and what is the strategy for catching winter carp so if you don't want to miss this video please consider subscribing all right guys let's go direct to the point so let's imagine that you would like to connect two lines with similar diameters. This is in case of two mono lines, one of which is your main line and the second one is a shock leader, which could be for example conical shock leader. Conical shock leader is a 15 meter shock leader. In one end it has a diameter which is quite similar to your main line and the other end it's much much thicker. So this, this uh, shock leader is quite useful for uh, casting. I used to use this kind of shock leader when I cast. So now in this case, here is the, uh, is the knot which I'm making, which is very simple and, and very reliable in this case. Okay, let's start. Uh, for better visualization, I will use uh, thicker material like this one. So here I put the two ends of uh, mono line. This is the mono line and this is the shock leader which is with similar diameter. Put them in uh, let's say in parallel. Both ends are here. And let's let's start the knot from here. I'm making one, two, three, and I go to six turns in this way. Just wrap one end uh, along the other. And then put the end of this line here in this way. I hope you can see it very well. It's very, very simple. Then we do the same with the other end. This is the end of uh, my main line. I'm doing also wraps six times two three and so on and so on okay let's make another one and here it's very important to put the end exactly from the other side of the other end you see you have this very simple configuration and then you need to pull uh, simultaneously all ends when you make this, don't forget to lick for uh, better lubrication. When you tie, you will obtain one very, very uh, compact, let's say, knot, which is very nice for this kind of situation, okay? Okay, the second type of connection which I would like to discuss here is uh, when you try to connect uh, your main line, which is this dark material, 
with uh, shock leader which has much much higher diameter. This is quite commonly used in situations when you fish in uh, missile fields, in uh, rocky areas, in some extreme conditions. This is the type of connection which you are supposed to do because you need this extremely thick uh, shock leader material. Okay, here is what we have to do. This is the knot. Just make like that. Start with the uh, shock leader. And then you need to put your monoline, one, one end of the monoline, in this way. And then simply make six turns around the both sides of the... Here, one, two, three, four, let's say there are six. And then you can put this end from the loop from this side or from the other side. Usually I'm making this kind of connection. I'm putting the end of the, my main line to be from the opposite side of the uh, here the loop you, you can see. Some people may make it in this way but I'm not suggesting you to do in this way. So. It's better to do it exactly here on the opposite side. And then just um, you need to lubricate again and just then pull and you will obtain a very nice knot. You can hear. You need to cut of course this end and the other end from your shock leader and you will obtain a very reliable knot. This is really very reliable knot but it's not that complex compact as compared to the previous one which I showed you earlier. Third and the last knot which I'm going to demonstrate today just to keep the things simpler is when you are trying to connect your shock leader to the swivel to the swivel or actually I'm using the same type of connection when I'm trying to connect the shock leader to the lead core. Okay, in this case, just to make the things much simpler, let's imagine that uh, this ring will play the role of the eye of the swivel. Okay, it's easy to understand and I will use the same color shock leader. Let me show you the knot now. Just here is the swivel. Just put the line in this way. And then turn back this end from here. Okay. And now we just need to make a simple knot. Make the knot like that. And then take the swivel from this side right here. Pull. Put lubrication, pull all ends and pull very well. So in this case you will obtain a knot like this. This should be cut here, you know, and you obtain a very very reliable knot which I'm using very often. Guys, this discussion uh, reminds me something that I was not planning to discuss today, but I think that it's a very good opportunity to mention, at least to mention this. See, I've seen many people which connect a uh, shock leader to the lead core using swivel. Guys, this is not a good idea. I will tell you why. First of all, let's imagine that we think now about the um, safety of the carbs. And if you break the last part of your line, which is the lead core, let me explain what's gonna happen. In case you have a safety uh, rig in this way, and if you break this line, let's imagine that this part stays in the carp lip here with the rig, you can imagine, and I have a lead here. The lead at a certain point will drop down and this will not be a big problem for the car. But if you are using 
inline connection here you have uh, LED which is um, uh, put inline then there is just one way of the LED to go out and this is through the entire LED core and if you have a swivel here at the end to connect the shock leader with the uh, LED core and the swivel remains here it's quite dangerous for the car so that's why I'm not suggesting you to use the here nothing else than a simple knot that I showed you or if you don't like use another knot but use a knot use a knot because the knot will allow the lead to fall down and this will save the car so this was everything which I, I was going to discuss today I hope it was short it was simple so guys hopefully next time I will see you outdoor